Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. Today I'd like to answer some comments about this Arlington two gang screw mount device box. I was pointing out that it makes a good old work box. You, you cut out your hole and there's two screws right here, here and here that screw into the stud. And uh, I was pointing out that it makes a much stronger box than the old type of old work boxes that have the wings on the sides that have the advantage of you can put them anywhere you want on your drywall but uh, these if you have access to a stud it's stronger to uh, screw into the stud and I showed how to put it in and so forth but the comment is that uh, some guys have difficulties putting a ground fault circuit interrupter on this side here where the screws are you see there's a nub right here and there's a nub right here so there's no nub on this side so you got a nub here and a nub here uh protruding protruding screw protector right here and a protruding screw protector right here so that's uh causing some guys problems with the gfcis so i have a gfci right here and uh, I'm going to see if uh, it goes in. And first of all, let, let's measure up. Okay, here's where the screw protector is right here. And that's one inch exactly to the edge. Okay, both of them are one inch. If you measure your GFCI, that's one inch exactly. So uh, let's just give it a try. So you see there's a space of about a sixteenth of an inch between the GFCI and the nubs. There's only about a sixteenth of an inch. Okay, the GFCI is not hitting the protrusion that protects the screws, but it's awfully close. So this is awfully close and this is awfully close. It's not actually hitting, but um, what I'm going to recommend is don't put your GFCI on this side of this kind of box. Okay, I'm going to take this out. Okay, say you're going to uh, put a GFCI receptacle here and a regular receptacle here. Well, on this kind of box, when you have these nubs here, the nubs and the screw protectors, put your regular receptacle on this side of this kind of box, okay? So now you have plenty of room right here between the receptacle and the nubs. It looks like uh, about a quarter of an inch. And you reach behind here, there's plenty of room between the screw protectors and the receptacle. Then go ahead and put your GFCI on this side. You got plenty of room on this side. So there's a tip for the Arlington two gang, two screw device boxes. Put the smaller device on this side where the nubs and the screw protectors are and put your GFCI or larger device on the opposite side. So I hope that speeds up your work and helps you to make more money faster. Okay, thanks a lot.